our next tool here is an interesting one and that's the liquify filter. Let me make sure that I'm on a layer that I can work with. I can't work on the smart object layer because I can't directly manipulate the pixels and the liquify filter requires that you directly manipulate the pixels. So let's go here over here to our other layer. There we go. And this one just a regular graphics layer. So that's fine. Let's look at liquify. So bring up the liquify filter. Let me just bring that in a little bit here so you can see that a little better. There we go. Now in here we have all kinds of tools. I have a forward warp tool and a reconstruct tool, a pucker tool and a bloat tool, and a push left tool. So you have all these different controls that we can work with. There's also an advanced mode for additional options as well. So the advanced mode gives me a twirl clockwise tool and a freeze mask tool and a thumb mask tool. With all these tools, you can see there, there's a, a brush size in there. I can come in and actually push the picture around. Let me just show you what I'm talking about like that. You just come in you can push the picture around as if it's made out of clay. Printed on clay and you, you can just kind of push things around. I'll just use my control alt z key here to back up a little bit. So you can do some interesting effects in here with this just pushing these things around. Now that's our top tool. The next tool is kind of fun. I'm going to push this around like this just to can't really kind of mess it up in here. The next tool is the reconstruct tool and as I paint over with this it pushes those effects backwards. This so pushes them back kind of subtly so I can come in here and I can just kind of slowly push those effects back towards that where they were in just a, a slight manner if I keep on going it will eventually put it all back normal again but that allows me to work interactively I can you know push things out of position using the one tool and then I can push them back in again using the reconstruct tool so if I go too far on something I can back that out using the reconstruct tool so it's a very very interesting little little option in there. Let's just reconstruct everything here. And we'll restore. There we go. The next tool down is a twirl clockwise tool. If I click on a position, this will actually twirl the picture clockwise, as you can see there. Now it can also, if you pull through, like this, you can kind of see it down there, it, it will twirl and move as I'm going so you can you can do this kind of twirl through effect and just kind of mess things up a little bit that way as well. I'll click on restore again down here to put it back where it was. The next one is the pucker tool and this squeezes things in as you can see right there actually squeezes them in. In some cases like that it looks as if it's supposed to be that way. You can squeeze things in using this tool Let's just restore. The other one is the bloat tool. I can click and I can make things larger. Now you've seen those birthday cards and so forth with the big eyeballs on the animals. They probably used this tool to make a lot of that stuff, the bloat tool. I just put it over the eyeball and do that. Finally we have a push left tool. This pushes everything over as you can see, if, if I go up, it pushes things to the left. If I pull down, it pushes them to the right. And let's restore that. Now, you can come in here and we can do a freeze. I can actually use this to paint a freeze mask. I mean, let's paint this right around this wagon wheel here. There we go. And let's now go to this push and notice that it protects the area under the mask. So you can protect areas by using this tool to create a mask to freeze the area so it won't be damaged when you're painting. The other area here, this is a thaw mask tool and I can use this to open up areas or thaw areas. Let's 
make sure that we're on that. There we go. So I can thaw out that area. Now, again, this if you let me just do a restore here. If we were talking about those animal pictures where they have the you know the big eyes, what they probably did was they probably came in and did a mask over the whole picture to protect the whole picture. So they didn't mess things up too much. Just like that. And then they came back with the thaw tool and they opened up an area just around where the eye was so they didn't mess up the rest of the picture then went into the bloat tool and bloated out just that area giving it those real large eye effects and let's do none on our mask so you can do some of those fancy tricks there now on the right hand side we have some additional options over here we can change the brush size right now it's at 100 I can make that you know anywhere I want to huge or real small or just type in a number say I want at, at 50 and that's half the size brush density you can adjust brush pressure if you're working with a tablet and stylus and the brush rate of flow so you can adjust your brush size in here you can come in here and adjust your mask options you have different options for your mask you can replace you can add to your selection, subtract from your selection, or do the intersection. The same kind of things that we have with our marquee tools and lasso tools and so forth when we're making selections. And you can look at the image or you can look at a mesh in here. If you need to, you can change the color of the mesh and the size of the mesh. And with the mesh, you can see what happens if I do it up here. You see that it, it's the, the mesh is what gets moved around and adjust it and the picture just follows the size of that mesh. Let me put this back to the 100. Again, there we go. So you see the lines of the mesh in there are being stretched out as I'm using this tool. So you can show or hide that mesh. You can also look at just the mesh if you want to. You can really see how it comes in and it stretches out that mesh and the picture just follows that mesh. Let's click on restore, put that back where it was and bring our image back again and hide that mesh. So there you go. That's the liquify tool. Interesting tool. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this. You may want to give it, uh, you know, play around with this for a little bit and just see what it will do for you. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.